Hey, puppy. Morning. Good morning, how are you? Good. Hi. Morning. Morning. Morning.
morning. Okay, okay, welcome. My name's Chris Visvis. We got coffee in hand. And this next part of the video is gonna be a cycling guide on how to do this ride yourself and also a little bit of a behind the scenes. This is the Pipeline Trail. And if you're riding this trail south, it begins in the heart of the suburbs in Warrenora and ends just before Warrenora Dam. In my opinion, I think it's some of the gra best gravel riding in the south. Now, obviously you can grab my ride from the link in the description and create a route yourself. However, I'll give you a bit of an overview of what you can expect. When you're riding the pipeline trail towards the dam, overall, it's a bit of a climb to get there, but I think the amount of climbing that's involved is perfect for the gravel bike. The ascents are not steep enough that your rear tire loses traction, but you can sort of get in a comfortable gear and roll over the top of everything with relative ease. If you are riding from south to north, in the opposite direction, there's a lot of descents that are pretty steep. So if your skill level is not so good and you want to play it a bit safer, maybe riding this trail towards the dam is a better option for you. A good starting point for this ride is Sutherland. You can stock up on snacks and it's only five minutes from the trailhead at Warrenora in the suburbs. You can actually get to the trailhead um, through the back of Sutherland, down a walking path and be there within five minutes. From there, it's real simple. It's just one road along the pipeline trail all the way to Warrenora Dam. There's only one traffic road to cross and that's Heathcote Road. But you can usually find a break in the traffic and despite the cars going pretty quick um, in either direction on Heathcote Road, you can cross reasonably safely. Once you finish the pipeline trail, you're greeted with a concrete paved road that is only a couple k's from Warrenora Dam. At the end of the pipeline trail, you take a right, you take this concrete paved road and you really can't miss the dam. If you've never seen the dam before, the vastness and just the sheer size of it is pretty incredible to see. 
also there's usually no one there so you've got the whole place to yourself i think the road has been closed off lately to the dam or it's only open certain hours of the day so it's really nice having the place to yourself you can just absorb and take it all in once you're done enjoying your snickers bar at warrenori dam you can either head home via the same pipeline trail and it, as i said it's much faster or you can head down waterfall hill and take lady carrington drive all the way back to sutherland lady carrington drive is another really popular gravel trail in sydney south it's also i think one of the other best beginner gravel rides you can do and it's really lush and it's really green and it's really relaxing on the way home there's just a lot of walkers on weekends so it's something you just got to watch out for and a lot of inexperienced people riding bikes in all over the place there's kids there's families so it's just something to think about if you're going to take that trail back home all right a bit of the behind the scenes if you've been watching some of my videos lately thank you so much i really appreciate it but you probably noticed that the videos are quite fast paced i'm always filming while cycling and this video is completely different it's slow paced there's a lot of static shots not while cycling and there's classical music in the background uh, that's because I just wanted to do something different, but also I was inspired by one of my favorite YouTubers, Craig Adams. He's an American hiker and he makes solo hiking films. And his films consist of static shots where he leaves the camera in one spot, walks past it, and then goes back and picks, picks it up. And then also drone shots to capture even more context of the beautiful places that he hikes. So I've tried to apply some of that and add it to my own film. And this is kind of what I came up with. I really enjoyed making it. I really let myself get immersed while filming this video, which felt really good. I set up the GoPro or my iPhone somewhere along the pipeline trail, um, maybe on a bit of furniture, maybe in a, in a tree, and then just rode past it and then rode back to the camera, picked the camera up and just rinsed and repeated the entire time. One thing I think my film was missing was more drone shots. Drone shots really capture the beauty of the Royal National Park and just the vastness of everything. Um, it would have been great to get some footage of Warrenora Dam with the drone. But, you know, at the end of the day, there's a bit of a trade-off between cycling and filming. It already took a whole extra 45 minutes to get to the dam because of stopping and filming all along the way. And if I had a drone and tried to film with a drone at the same time, that's something that would have taken a lot of extra time and it also would have slowed me down by carrying additional gear. So there's that balance and that trade-off between getting somewhere and filming and uh, it's a vibe. Nevertheless, I am going to try and incorporate more drone shots into my videos because I think they look great and they can really add to the context of the video. The drone shots that were in this video, I just filmed them the next day and tried to splice them in. But with all that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you did in the comments. Um, shoot this video a like, subscribe. It really helps YouTube algorithm get this video in front of more eyeballs so I can grow this channel and put more time and resources into making better videos. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Bye. That's my... Hey, get that shoe off the couch. Get that shoe off the couch, boy. <laughs>